Designed by Tinker Hatfield, the Air Max 1 was inspired by Le Centre Georges Pompidou in Paris. The building's exposed architecture ended up being the inspiration for the visible air. Tinker was required to design the Air Max 1 as part of the pack, which also included the Air Safari and Air Trainer 1. You'll notice the original colorway was also inspired by the Pompidou Centre. The Air Max 1 brought with it Nike Air, which was developed by Marion Frank Rudy. Sulfur hexafluoride was initially used to fill the air units, but for safety reasons, Nike was forced to switch to nitrogen. People thought the visible Air Max bag would explode or puncture, but as we know, these doubters were quickly proven wrong. Since the original Air Max 1, the airbags in reissued versions by Nike have only decreased in size. First reissued in 1992, Retro versions all featured a slightly different midsole than the original 87 release. A select few versions of the first ever Air Max 1 Retro featured an Air Max 90 tooling. Leather versions were first released in 1988, but the original suede and mesh construction didn't return until 1995. The mini toe swoosh made its first appearance on the Air Max 1 in 1997, and if you noticed, the side swoosh has significantly shrunken since its original release. Although there were many to follow, Atmos was the first company to collaborate with Nike on the Air Max 1. For more on the shoe, be sure to check out Max 100, a book featuring unique visual representations of the Nike Air Max 1 by Matt Stevens.